Alrighty, welcome back to Vampire. I am ready to head off, and this time around, I don't have to worry about anything coming up. I've had a lot of sessions where I'm just like, eh, I need to go in like an hour or two after starting. Now it's 4 a.m. in the morning. That's not really, uh... <laughs> There's nothing there to stop me except for myself. And who knows, maybe I'll stop for a little bit of breakfast because I did just wake up from some sleep. But, whatever. So before we leave this district and head off into the West End, I do want to see what the prices are for uh, some of the things that the other people are selling, especially Dwarthy Crane. I think she might have some good things for me. Hello. I'd like to see what... Alright. She has some opium being sold for 15. I don't really need that. I need to use my resources. Sort of carefully, but I also want to sell my stuff. I don't know if increasing the sanitization of the district affects how much my stuff sells for. I'd hope so. But I'm not fully sure. Also, this is nice. If I wanted to, I could like just reset the nights over and over again, just keep heading into places like this to get some of the more valuable resources. Someone said there's a place to where I can, like, refill on, like, serums over and over again. I want that. <laughs> I don't know if they were, they were speaking the truth, but I want free Welcome serums. Welcome back, Jonathan. Do you need anything? Hello, I want to trade Show with you. Show me what you have in stock, please. Sturdy blood sample. So, I think this will allow me to get the last tree of serums on the, the right side of this. Let me see if I can... Show what I mean. Yeah, so we have we have the green and the blue one, but we don't have like the purple level serums. Which would obviously be pretty necessary when we have uh, a lot of extra health or blood. Currently, we don't really, so it's not that necessary. But it's a good thing to have for the future, especially if I were to say, get some in advance because I have an unlocked period. Hmm. Alright, let's go talk. Another friend over here. I don't know if he's selling rivets. I'm hoping he does, because I really don't want to walk all the way down to the oh, East Dock. Shut up, Joe! Stop harassing you people! Never lose. Right then. Okay, he does have some rivets. Look at that, 60. I think he was selling them for 75 earlier? But maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay. What do we want to do here? Ooh. Why are the tiny handle parts more expensive than the good handle part? What the hell? Okay, that's annoying. Let's see what happens if I if I sell everything. Uh, first off, we're selling the pistol because I just don't care for the pistol. I know that's gonna make some people really, really annoyed, but oh well. Can I sell bullets? Oh, look at that! I just don't, I just, we find so many bullets as well, so yeah, that's just a free source of money for us at that point. Okay. So, we're gonna sell everything that is not purple. Except for maybe some of the medicine things. We definitely want to still have a couple, just in case. Also, I know I can just do this. <laughs> Look at these small bottles. They don't give me anything, really. With every small amount of shillings can help us out. Okay. Look at the full bottles of, of alcohol. Okay. So, obviously we want the rivets. That's gonna let us upgrade my shotgun to its maximum damage potential. The real question is, do I want to upgrade my handles as well? Because I could save my money and use it elsewhere for other things. I think we'll do this. Because it will also mean that my offhand weapon will do a little bit more. Actually, wait. What am I thinking about? Yeah, for this, this, this would be upgraded with... Oh. I'm dumb. <laughs> I totally didn't actually need that at all. Oops. Well... I can upgrade my stake? 
at some point if I ever felt like it, but yeah. I did not understand. Well, I should have checked before buying stuff. Oh, that's my bad. I thought the good bludgeon, because it was a one-handed weapon, used the same amount of stuff as my offhand stuff. Because it's smaller, it's a one-hand weapon rather than a big, big one. Oops, that's a wasted like 200, slightly. I may eventually feel like using a stunning weapon more so than the shotgun. So that would obviously be very helpful just to have that that stun potential. Because if I used up all of my shotgun ammo in like, say, a boss fight, I could then swap to my offhand weapon and just use that. I cannot enter. I am so disappointed. <laughs> I am so saddened by that. Fine, I guess I'll go the extra long way to get into the West End. Ugh. Whoops. This is despicable. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't even know there were rats over there. No Alright, let's go beat up on some people while we head out here. Is everything done in terms of investigations? Let's see. Retrieve Barrett Lewis's box. Where's that? Ah. Wait, who the heck is this? Oh, Xiao Shun! Good evening, Xiao Shun. Wang Shang Hao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. What is she up to here? How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. Hmm. I've no doubt that is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I'm destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. Well, that's nice. Let's see, where, let's see. Xiao Shun hopes to find a place where she will be useful. Well, I mean, we see her helping the dead down. Wait, hold on, did you see that? Why is her eye so dark right here versus her other eye? That's probably just bad lighting on the, on the image they took for this, but it almost, it's almost like she's gonna turn into a vampire or something. Huh. Anyways, it's good that she wants to to help out with Whitechapel. It looked like she was trying to medically treat this guy, make sure he's all right. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Well, Shaoshan, I hope you don't end up getting sick from the disease. I, uh, I'm gonna make sure to keep Whitechapel spick and span as well. Cause I can't, I can't do it. I can't take the lives. Not, not, not yet. Until we find someone truly despicable. And even then, we have to hold off. What are you doing with your time now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. Okay. That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. To help them when I can. That's dangerous. <laughs> Maybe I should have warned her. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Oh. She's a good person. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now, I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Alright. Well, I'm Goodbye, glad we were able to save you, Xiao Shun. I doubt we'll have any kind of mission for her. It's locked. 
Really? What the fuck can you do in this one random little area over here? Um The wet boots will be proud of me. What are you trying to do, Albert? How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, alright? Now piss off. Yeah, okay. Have conditions improved in Whitechapel? I'm ready for whatever's coming. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Bye, kid. Stop trying to break into people's houses. At the very least, don't do it while someone else is standing right next to you. We should have been able to, like, I don't know. Grab his hand, thread him off, stop him from doing that. Oh. Hey, guys. One thing I'm going to have to be worried about is the fact that I don't have as much... What was I going to say? <laughs> what don't I have that much of? What the fuck? It was something related to my abilities because I changed out stuff. Oh, I don't have as much bite damage. So, I can't just do like 100 bite damage combined with everything else. At some point I'll probably upgrade it again, but I figured I don't really need the bite damage too much because I have my other attacks. Okay. There you go. Patience. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Patience is good, but I also don't want to be like teleported on by a giant werewolf like beast. It's locked, all right. I am a vampire. Why can't I just smash the damn door? Or use my super speed to jump over the buildings. Gosh. You know, that would actually be pretty cool. If uh, we we could use my vampire abilities to fast travel. Yeah? Oh, nice. Uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to stun him. It's weird when the... The healing doesn't take place while you're in the bite animation, but it happens anyways afterwards. Blood. Put an end to you. But will you? Ooh, spicy. You can't do that. <laughs> it's banned. I thought about, uh, like, grabbing the blood spear abilities rather than the shadow mist. But I don't know, this, this, this is fine. I just have to hope that the enemies are going to bunch up a whole bunch. Uh-oh, I heard that. Hey, isn't this where we found the skull, like, at the end of the alley, right over here? And it kicked our ass? <laughs> I think so. Oh, well, hold on. You know what? While we're here, I can upgrade my weapon. My shotgun that I hopefully will get a good chance to use. Hey, where's that serum thing we bought? Or did I not buy it? I did. A small dose of brisk blood that can be used to create stamina serums for vampires. And then a small dose that can be used to create regeneration serums for vampires. The fuck? <laughs> Why can I not analyze it? Hmm. Hold on. Let's get one of each just in case 
people in West End are like really, really sick. Look how much opium these blood ones take. Jesus Christ. All right, let's upgrade. I need you to give me 50 more damage per shot. Five stun points is not worth it. If it was like 10 stun points, that'd be nice. But five is half a bar. I'm only going to get a few shots off. Barely helps me. All right. So what I need to be trying to get is good handle parts. So I can get a good upgrade, almost a solid 100 extra damage, and that'd be good. And then I might even upgrade my base damage of my cudgel. But I'm not really sure if I'm going to, because I do like its current stun. And I don't want to reduce that all too much. But reducing my stun by three in order to get what could be like 20 to 30 damage once everything is upgraded? That sounds good to me. Okay. A part of me is tempted to just sell off my tiny handle parts, but we'll be fine. I, I think we, we don't need to have like a max that weapon already. Okay. So. I guess we are going to end up check, uh, I was going to say check out Lady Ashbury, but I don't mean that. We're just going to have a nice talk with her. Oh, hello guys. How are you doing down there? I don't know, I'm regenerating stamina. Yeah, at that point, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I took out most of his stun. I want to find the type of enemy that will give me good handle parts. Because you know what? Every time you rest, the enemies respawn. And from what I've seen, similar enemies give... Uh, the same kind of loot, generally, pretty often. So, say the Ekans, the Ekons, 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 the other vampires. They give us handle parts, so I need to be looking for them. I need to be taking those guys out. And we know where a few of them spawn currently, but obviously that would change as we progress the story, so who knows. I can't believe I'm doing this. Alright, let me in. Thank you. It's so weird when the game just doesn't want to let you in anywhere. So I guess, in terms of not being able to analyze what I currently have, I guess I need to... do more research? In order to, to find these strong serums. Also, what the fuck does it mean, antidote? Is there an antidote for the actual... Plague that we can do? Hmm. Pruin Executioner. Let's see if we can get some free hits off on him. Fortunately for him, he didn't have anybody to watch his back as he patrolled this alley. Now, I'm pretty sure there's an Ekin down here. There he is. Ow! I'm, I'm getting burned right, right now. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, they're double- they're, they're teaming up on me! You stole my kill! Alright. Come here, Executioner. Oh, I tried to parry. 
Uh, come on, one more. I need blood. Ow. <laughs> I love how fast you can stun people. What do we get from the vampire? Look at that. Good trigger part. Alright. Oh! Jesus, guys. I killed him! <laughs> I just wanted the priest dead. Son of a bitch. He just barely managed to get out of the way. That was an accidental parry. Ah! Oh, I hate when they do shit like that. Whoa! Ah, ah, God! How dare you! Wait! Oh, fuck off! He almost got me killed. Oh my god. Alright, Volkod. Hey. Let's do some shadow damage to you. We got a little messed up there because- Oh, I'm an echo and I can put on a blood barrier and resist stuff. Ow. Ow, Jesus! Okay, that last one was pretty ridiculous. I just want to parry him. And he's dead anyways. Damn it, man. Alright, these guys just keep on giving me trigger parts. I don't want trigger parts, vampires. Okay? The gun's upgraded. I don't need it any need upgrade anymore. I need the good stuff. Okay, look. There's a guy right here and I can't stun him. Ugh. There we go. I stunned both of them? That is so odd. Oh, I was hoping to damage this guy. Lord, give us strength. <laughs> Away with you. Hold on. Ugh, need to stun him. He's gonna be annoying. You know, I'm sad I can't feast on the dead. Like, not like that, that, that. Not like the scowls where I want to eat meat, but like uh, the per a person that I've just recently knocked out. Excuse me, I'm drawing to feed you. So if you could not interrupt me, that would be swell. The key to dealing with a fellow vampire is to not allow them any chance to really harm you. Okay, I'm taking a left here. Lady Ashbury, there's so many dangerous things directly outside your house, pretty much. How do you feel about that? Ashbury? Oh, she's up there. Is that her? Playing music instrument? 
or is that just the soundtrack? It's locked, all right. Ooh, what is this? To the inspiring Lady Ashbury, there are darknesses in life, and there are lights, and you are one of the lights. The light of all lights. Bram Stoker, August 4th, 1897. Dracula. That's hilarious. She was given a little section in there. I wonder if she was the inspiration for it, or if there's a legit Dracula somewhere. What is she doing? Oh, she's writing. I thought she was like doing like a painting animation and I'm sitting here staring at the canvas going, that can't be right. What's with this? Hey, that's me! Wow! Wow, thank you, Lady Ashbury. Hello again, Jonathan. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Sorry to disturb you again, but could you spare me a few minutes? Of course, my dear. Always a pleasure to speak with you. All right, I just want to you know, talk with you a little bit. Uh, what do you think about the future? Do you think we shall ever see better days? Or at least, better nights? I know not, Jonathan. I have seen some horrid days in my long lifetime. Experience has taught me that one cannot outrun the fates. Will you tell me your story one day, Lady Asprey? One of them, perhaps. I have had so many lives, Jonathan. Eternity may not be enough to relate them all. I don't know, you could give me some spark notes. In this life, I was a painter. In this life, I just stayed inside for half of the year all the time because that's what I do all the time anyways. Yes, just give me the summaries. When all of this is over, the war and the epidemic, we could leave the city for a while. Travel around Europe, you and I. Traveling is always so complicated for us poor creatures of the night. But yes, I would be glad to travel the world with you, my dear. You know, if you guys last another hundred years, there'll be cars, planes, things like that. Traveling around the world would be a lot easier than you would imagine. Concerning your investigation. Yes. Are you truly seeking to identify my maker? I cannot promise you anything, but yes. I am conducting some research of my own. I wish she could tell me a little bit about it. Do you it. know if the epidemic has affected many people in the West End? I confess I've been more concerned by events in the East End. The wealthy have more efficient ways of dealing with infection. But this is no common epidemic. That is true. I must tell my daughter to stay at home for a few days. But the girl is stubborn and fiercely independent. Much like her mother. You have a daughter? Wait, hold on, she has a daughter? Why isn't this a thing we can ask about? Goodbye, Elizabeth. I mean, she could also be, like, just faking it, but I don't know. The Blood Knight Tragedy. What is that about? Only a few of us remain after the shock of the Great Hunt. I was one of them. I remember how the sudden attack of the enemy caught us all by surprise. Blood was shed during those few nights. Some of us who survived chose to exile. I don't blame them, but I regret their lack of fortitude, for it is courage we need to protect the interests of the Empire. Courage. We need to defend the values we stand for. May we all remember that William Marshall himself never lowered his head. My beloved maker may be long gone, but now his presence is still among us. We keep a few drops of his sacred blood to remind us what we are and what we seek. Honor, purity, and excellence. I had the privilege of speaking with the knight many times, as his progeny and as his friend. He spoke to me of the tears of angels, the holy beverage supposed to appease the inextinguishable hunger we all feel, that he never ceased to search, even without knowing if such artifact exists. I admired his tenacity, and it is this tenacity, this indefectible belief in, everything, in something bigger than us, that will make us survive any future great hunt latched by our enemies. Or launched by our enemies. Ascalon will be rebuilt, always, for it is an ideal. The Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave Founder. Well, he has some very inspiring words, so good for him. So, <laughs> people kind of try to get on my butt a little bit when we had Lady Elizabeth put our hand on her heart and like see how she was feeling. But I felt like I, I established that I could perceive like it's either going to go in a direction where she's just really worried or it's a direction where she feels romantically attached to, to Jonathan. It's just not really fully clear because it's a vampire story. You can bullshit anything, you know? Maybe she's excited for the things to come. 
the war to arrive. Oh, I never did this stupid retrieve box thing. I got so distracted with trying to get to the west end. Okay. 